How you doing, newsers? Welcome to the TV News Life. Josh Scheinblum here. Thank you so much for watching. Our day has begun. We're coming to you from the live truck right now, and we are headed up to Berlin, Connecticut. I'm going to tell you about that story in just a second for that for why we are making that drive up there. But let me introduce you to who we're working with today. Oh yes, it's Kelvin Higgins. He's the photographer. What's up, Kelvin? Not much. A man of many words. <laughs> so Calvin and I have already done a little talking about what we're going to be doing for our story today, but I want to make sure that I get you up to speed. So just so you know approximately what time it is, uh, it's a little after 4.30 right now. We're going to be going to a neighborhood in Berlin, Connecticut, where video apparently seems to show somebody stealing mail out of a mailbox. Now just so you know, we've already done. We've already called the U.S. Postal Service. We've already talked with the police department. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get either of them to go on TV for this story, but that's why we are headed up to Berlin. We know where the neighborhood is where this happened, and we're gonna see if anybody who's around there might be able to talk with us and might know something that we already don't know. We are here right now in the neighborhood of Summit Wood Drive. It's a very residential neighborhood but the homes are kind of spread out apart from one another and it's not exactly completely unambiguous which house may have uh, shot this video so we're kind of driving around right now in the neighborhood seeing if we can find anybody maybe they can point us in the right direction and next time something happens we'll let you know so we drove up and down the road we did end up seeing one guy outside of a house he didn't want to go on camera. As you might imagine, that creates for a challenge when people aren't going on camera. He's the only one that we've seen so far. So here's the plan. We're going to regroup a little bit. Kelvin is going to shoot out some video uh, of the neighborhood so we've got a little bit more something to pad our package with. And I am going to go knock on some doors. Uh, just bear in mind, the home's a little bit spread out here. So that might take a little longer than uh, we'd like, but at this juncture, I think that's the best thing to do. Door knock number one, no success. No one came to the door. House number two was able to talk to somebody. Very, very nice, but the idea of going on camera terrified them. So yeah, moving on. House number three, again, talked with somebody. Is it on camera? Yes, it's on camera. Nope, not going on. So we move on. We're back in the live truck. Someone actually ended up slowing down in their car who lives in the neighborhood and then it ended up giving us uh, a brief interview. That's a good thing. That at least gives us something uh, to do here. Now, we've still got a long way to go though. On to knock on another door, except this one. I really hope that there's somebody here more than all the rest of them because big hill walking up a big hill for this driveway let's see what happens no one came to the door at this home either <laughs> it's got a barking dog but uh more than that at least what i can say that i did get was a really nice view from up here of all the nice uh, new england fall foliage changing colors other than that nothing so the search continues to try to find more people to talk with Oh, I think we might have just gotten lucky. Anyways, we tried talking with another guy as we were driving around in the truck. He gave us the no because he doesn't want to be on TV. Seem to be hearing that a lot today. Uh, but it looks like I see somebody up there. Somebody's up there. Let's see if we can talk to them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pitch him a story. See you soon. Persistence, it appears, has paid off. Uh, obviously, I didn't include every door knock on this, but we were able to find someone who says that uh, he was the one who initially made the police report to police. We talked to another guy who said that he had his mail stolen. And right now we are in the end of a cul-de-sac, Linden Drive. And at the end of Linden Drive is where they found a lot of the mail uh, that the people decided not to take. But I gotta say, thank you very much for holding the light up there. Uh, I thought you needed a little uh, extra lighting, so uh, I jumped in. I think I've said this every vlog that you're in. Come strong to the table. If you think that Kelvin comes strong to the table, 
give this video a like. Go Kelvin! We're gonna shoot a stand up now. Go Kelvin! We are back in the live truck. Kelvin holding that fort down. Me, I just wrote my package. I submitted my package. It is now in the script approval process. I thought that would be a good place to leave things today. We still have to go live at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock tonight. And of course, once that package is approved, we gotta track it, uh, edit it, and feed it back to the station to get everything ready to go so we can have a successful live shot. Let me know your thoughts on what you think of these vlogs. They're racking up, we're going up and up. So let me know what you think. And thank you, of course, for watching this video. It's really awesome to see uh, the views rack up, but what I think we need now is some more subscribers. So do me a favor, let's recruit some more members to the TV News Life and Newser Nation. All you gotta do is press that little red button down there, it's called subscribe, and uh, you can join. It's just that easy. And of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with the very latest that we're doing to put these stories together and check out all of the news that we work on, you can find that on all my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Of course, again, I just wanna say thanks for, so much for watching. Thank you very, very much for watching this vlog. Get ready for another one coming to you real soon. And of course, have a great day.